Hi, my name is Edwin Rijo, and I'm a telecommunications technician out of Columbia, California. And this is my Atlas 46 gear obsession. So it first started off with this apron, the Atlas 46 split leg apron. They don't make this anymore. And uh, they replaced it with the Journey mesh. But uh, what I liked about this particular product is it was the most heavy duty apron that I found other than maybe welding uh, aprons that, that was useful for me. It had six individual pockets in the front here. Uh, some more pockets up here. The main chest pocket here that held my cell phone at the time. Then I started added, adding some accessories like uh, the uh, magnet holders here that Atlas 46 also sells. Really good. It sticks pretty good. It's real convenient when I just need to put my tools momentarily aside and uh, then to pick it up a little bit later when I need it. The pockets here are really, really nice. Got my pen and some other stuff. Uh, bit holder. That was really convenient. Magnetized. Then a, a smaller scale magnet, magnet holder for screws and whatnot, bolts, nuts, and pockets for whatever I want to use. And I really like these little sort of like webbing here so I could clamp more things onto it. Uh, here I got a USMC grenade uh, pouch which I use as a uh, tape measure holder and uh, yeah I really needed a split leg uh, apron for mobility and uh, this works out really well now in the field uh, kept my clothes really nice instead of all gummed up by the work site and I added these uh, sort of like belt loops here so I could affix uh, any knee pad to it and it won't fall off or articulate all weird or anything it's, it's kept in one place so this, for me this was an add-on if I were to design a, a, a apron I would like the Gen Johnny Mesh version of this split leg with these uh, belt loops on there for your knee pads uh, that that would be ideal for me so then this particular product here I seen the quality of it and uh, it was really good and comfortable and I decided to give their bags a try as well which I have quite a few so here I have the Yorktown tool roll bag and this has been the most efficient and best tool bag I ever had tool bag slash roll bag so here this is like my everyday sort of uh, tool bag that I turn to the most Screwdrivers in the first pocket. Uh, minor wrenching gear like uh, pliers and crescent wrenches and channel locks and built drill bits, quarter inch drill bits and sockets. Cutting materials here. Uh, wire clippers, uh, knife, strippers. Here's like my sort of like uh, triage test equipment, voltmeter, amp meter, uh, fox and hound for audio systems, and uh, electrical outlet tester. And this is my overflow bag with miscellaneous uh, tape, measuring tape, and some references and pens and pencils. Really good setup. Uh, I know where everything is at. I don't have to search everywhere. I just go to the category of equipment that I need, whether it be screwdrivers and stuff. Uh, cutting materials and minor test equipment there to to do my job So this is a second Yorktown uh, roll tool bag and This is the back side of it where you could actually put uh, Wrenches and stuff. I got some speed wrenches here open end, close end wrenches and Whatever you, you can fit in these little slots here a uh, big mistake that I've done was leaving this in the back where it slid on the wood paneling uh, and uh, it kind of sort of uh, uh, rubbed the material but but it was strong enough to where it is I already 
replaced it with something else, put it in another secure location, and this hasn't migrated to where it was breaking all over the place. So that was really good. And like I said, this was pretty much my fault there. And Velcro's in place. Really good, good tool bag. Even though this, all the pockets are open here, if I needed to move one in another location, I just grab one end, grab the other, pick up and go, and there I am again. Really good setup. So with this, I started making kits in my service truck, and these are my kits here. These are the regular Atlas 46 to, uh, tool roll. And the first one here is a kit for fixing connectors. Here's all my, all my various connectors for different sizes and stuff. It's all one kit just for that. And here on the bigger pouch here, I got all my crimpers and cutters and things like that. This bag here, the black one, it's another tool kit that I assembled for adapters, cable adapters of, of various types. So one pocket, two, four pockets here, actually five, sorry. And they're all categorized by size and type. And it's kept my system very organized. I know which bag to grab and I could do all my stuff that I need to do. All organized and it packs up into a little nice small package to where it economizes the space of my work truck. Here's another tool kit in my work truck. And this is my telephone equipment troubleshooting and repair thing here. Here's for uh, computer cables, crimpers for that and cutters, RJ45, uh, a telephone butt set here, a telephone butt set here. Here I got various cables here for testing more cables here and connectors on this pouch right here so this is my telephone kit my cable adapter kit cable repair kit here and with additional tools here to do the rest of my job and an apron to keep clean so as far as the vehicle I got the Hudson uh, battery cable bag here too which I do double duty as a snow chain holder as well so I got my snow chains in here along with my jumper cables here and it secures really nicely into a compartment in my truck and it's made out of the same quality Kodura fabric as all the other tool pouches here and this stuff goes with me everywhere mind you almost the majority of the tool bags here except for maybe this guy here and these two here and the apron the rest of it is factory rejects so these two roll bags here factory rejects this one was a factory rejects sometimes they offer factory rejects as, at a discounted price and you could snag those up honestly I cannot tell the difference of what the defects are compared to a quality control released uh, bag here except for maybe a little flares here at the zipper here that's the only thing that I could tell that that's maybe wrong with it other than that everything else is practically the same and I put the same amount of abuse between the reject and the regular bag here and they're both the same as far as quality uh, so if the rejects are holding up to the abuse that you may put the equipment through you can imagine what a fully quality control bag could give you out there as well as you can tell, I'm a big fan of it. It does the job, it does it great. It's worth every penny. And uh, so much so that I have it in my home kit as well to uh, have at the home, and it's real convenient. Um, what can I say? I really like this product. After 30 years of using every other products like a metal tool chest, uh, a tool mechanics bag, where all the tools are just nilly willy in the bag with no structure uh, these two roll bags here for me provides a structure and organization that I need in a convenient little carry handle pick up and go setup here and 
if you have a service vehicle or work vehicle that are that that makes you have limited space uh, this will fit in all the nooks and crannies that you may find in your truck uh, conveniently where the other types of tool bags and chests would, would take up a lot of space uh, this is really good <laughs>